Let me share an interesting story with you. In 1977, I was working full-time as a hospital administrator in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And I was trading stocks and options at the time, which was really my passion. One day, I read an article in the Wall Street Journal about microcomputers, which today we call personal computers. And I was fascinated by it. So that evening, I went over to a local Radio Shack store to see one and to play with it a little bit and see what it, what it was all about. I had some familiarity with mainframe computers from my days at Carnegie Mellon, but had nothing, no knowledge of microcomputers. Well, as I spent time in the store looking at the computer and fiddling around with it, I, I immediately realized, wow, this, this is going to really change the world. And I could see how it could be applied to technical analysis. Most traders at the time were doing charts by hand and calculating different technical indicators as I was with a handheld calculator. Uh, and I, I really saw how with software this computer could really be a game changer for me in, in my own trading. So I bought one. It was expensive, but I viewed it as an investment in my own trading to help me become more successful in, in trading. And I started to uh, write some software and start developing programs and developing technical indicators uh, to use with the computer and to assist me in my training. Around that time, uh, I was promoted as a hospital administrator to a, another hospital in Tampa, Florida, when my wife and I moved there. And uh, I began trading commodities for the first time. And that just blew me away because of the leverage and the, and the profit potential that commodities had. I just saw that with the software and the computer as something that would just really have the potential to make me rich. And uh, so I really intensified my efforts at, at doing the programming and studying about how to apply it to technical analysis. And I began to realize that if, if I just used the computer to, to more or less become like a, uh, a faster calculating machine, that's not really using it to its fullest potential. What was really needed from my standpoint was some kind of a way to test the different technical indicators that I was designing. A back testing capability, something that would allow me to, to see if they were profitable. Did it really en enhance my trading performance? But there wasn't any back testing software available. It just didn't exist for personal computers. So I was faced with a dilemma. Do I just kind of ignore it and just continue what I was doing? Or do I just bite the bullet and do what it takes to develop backtesting in, in software? Well, I decided to do the latter. And very quickly, I realized I'm not going to be able to do that and continue to be a hospital administrator full-time at the same time. It's, it's just humanly impossible. My wife and I sat down and we spoke about it one evening and we decided that I would leave hospital administration and trade full-time and spend my free time working on developing the software and developing the backtesting capability in software. And that's what I did. And I started to go to some conferences, industry conferences in Chicago, and began telling other commodity traders about what I was working on, this, this new capability that I was developing in software. Most of them didn't even have computers. Uh, very few did. But they were intrigued by, that, by what I was talking about, because obviously it, it was far superior to what they were doing. And uh, I started to write articles about it. I wrote uh, a series of articles in 1983 in Futures Magazine in which I described backtesting and talked about its capabilities and what some of the advantages were and how it could really take technical analysis to the next level. And after those articles were published, traders all over the world were communicating with me. They were, they were literally begging for that capability. And I decided, well, I could share my software, which I had been developing and using my, myself. I could share this with other commodity traders. And that way it would help to defray some of the expenses that I'm incurring in, in doing the research and development on this. 
And I did that. And late that year, I introduced the first commercially available back testing software for PCs in the world. And the rest is history. <laughs>